Hello Aquarius and welcome to your impromptu weekly reading for the next seven days. Um, this reading is going to be kind of short uh, and to the point. Um, in this reading we're going to cover what you need to know for the next seven days, what you need to be aware of. These two could be the same thing like what you need to know and be aware of but I find that there's different urgency levels which is why I'm doing two separate questions. Um, and then we're going to do a money message, money, money, blah, money cards for you guys for the next seven days. And then we're going to conclude with a Oracle card. Okay. Um, let's get started. What does Aquarius need to know? Uh, I see you finalizing something. It feels like a contract. I was getting a similar energy a little bit intuitively for Capricorn. So some of you guys may be a cusper or have that in your chart, but, um, I see you finalizing something like something involving paperwork it could be something legal, like contracts maybe divorce or agreements, but I see something is coming to an end for you in your life. Um, I think that's the devil card, right? That's Capricorn. Um, what does Aquarius uh, need to know next seven days? What does Aquarius need to know next seven days? Okay, six of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. Okay, I'm getting the energy of like, you're gonna get some new ideas when it comes to your job or work. It seems like there's like some new purpose uh, some new passion in your, in, like some, there's, no, there's some new pep in your step. Like, I feel like, um, you're finding out what you want to do, but hold on. Six of pentacles, seven of pentacles. What is this for Aquarius? What do they need to know next seven days? I feel like someone may try to start a pointless argument with you about money, surrounding money matters or the material realm, surrounding wealth, ideas, energy efforts or something like that something something material uh it's like someone starts a pointless fight with you about it three of pentacles i'm getting the energy of like you being judged for your ideas as well and you having to like lay down the law or lay down lay down the groundwork like lay down something uh like lay down the groundwork for something build the foundation Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces. Uh, some of you guys could be having issues with someone at work. I feel like it's like someone with a smart mouth, a smart coworker, like not smart intelligently, but as in like kind of disrespectful, kind of rude. Um, someone here that's a bit of a know-it-all or wants to take control of the entire thing. What is this for uh, Aquarius? What do they need to know next seven days? I want to say, Aquarius, uh, you may feel the need to remain mysterious at work. I don't know if you're starting something new in a job, if you're starting a new job or what, but you feel the need to be uh, more mysterious, more low key. And I feel like that is conducive towards whatever it is that you're trying to do right now. If you're trying to stay off the radar or, you know, have people not really know your business right now, especially in work, because I am getting the energy of like being judged, judging, not that you should be private just to avoid being judged, but the less people know, for me personally, the better because, <laughs> you know, just privacy is power and people don't need to know everything you have going on in your life. Um, it's good to have a little bit of mystery, even if you're not completely mysterious. But whatever you're doing, um, I want to say it is it is smart for you to remain private. Uh, it seems like you want to have some anonymousness. I forgot how to say that word. I'm not anonymity whatever anonymous and it be anonymous uh i feel like that's smart yeah some of y'all about to say scorpio some of y'all may have scorpio in your chart it's like eighth house matters so what you need to know is that um privacy is power you don't have to keep everything a secret but if you're gearing more if you're if you're in the if you're heading towards the direction of more privacy uh that's a good idea six of pentacles seven of pentacles Can I get another? What does Aquarius need to know next seven days, spirit? What does Aquarius need to know next seven days? Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. The Magician. What is this? Aquarius, what do they need to know next seven days? Wheel of Fortune, the Magician the nine of wands um i'm seeing the energy of like a big payout like someone may pay something out for you uh so you don't have to worry about the cost of something it feels like a big payout um i'm getting something pays out in like a, in big numbers like i feel like the ceiling for the amount of money that you can make 
from something, from doing something is extremely high. Um, this feels like a high payout and it's like on your behalf, like for your benefit. For some of you guys, I don't know if this is like student loans or what, but I see some something like um, turning in your favor. It seems like there's some help for you. So if you guys are in need of some help or guidance or assistance, it feels like um, there's a payout here. What is this payout? Like, what is this for Aquarius next seven days? Some of you guys, I'm getting a pension. I'm getting retirement, maybe 401k or something like that. Um, what is this payout? Queen of Cups. Is This could be coming from another Aquarius or a Leo. I feel like someone here is watching out for you. Someone here has got their eye on you. What else does Aquarius need to know next seven days? Five of Pentacles. I don't know why I keep wanting to hear they're watching, like spectators. Do you feel like you're being watched or something? I don't know. Because I, I, I heard that for Capricorn Strong, and now I'm hearing it for you as well. So definitely you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn, have that in your chart. But I'm hearing they're watching. You may have, you may be battling with some kind of insecurities or be feeling judged, like really judged. Uh, you may be feeling like um, people are judging you, talking about you, all that. Like I feel like you guys may be feeling... Um, you guys may be dealing with some kind of hardship and you may be thinking that everyone else can see it. It's like written all over your face and that people are judging you. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily true. It just feels like you're going through something and you feel like you're being harshly judged or unfairly judged. What's this five of pentacles? Aquarius needs to know next seven days. Five of pentacles, knight of pentacles. Yeah, I was getting this for Capricorn too. I mean, some Aquariuses are Capricorns in Vedic astrology. So like depending on what, how late a degree or early a degree Aquarius you are, I just feel like you're fighting demons. I was literally getting that for Capricorn as well. You guys may want to check out that reading, but um, some of you guys are fighting demons for real. Like you guys are going through shit this week. Um, there's, there's feelings of insecurity, feeling judged, feeling left out in the cold, feeling lonely. If you need help, especially if you need therapy, or if you just need the help of another person, do not be afraid to reach out for help. It just feels like, um, this is like mental anguish. Like you're going through a lot up here and it, you know, I feel like, um, it's manifesting in terms of like struggle, hardship. Okay. Feeling lonely, feeling, feeling, uh, feeling without. I feel like you're being really critical of yourself and your situation. What's the advice for, um, like, I feel like Aquarius, there, there's like something that I feel like you're going through where you're trying to figure things out. And while you figure things out, while you're in this energy of like in limbo, it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. Like you're going to be feeling left out in the cold for a while. It's not manifesting hardship for you, but it's to say like, while you're going through this, it's going to be difficult. So I feel like um, you just need to be aware of that the next seven days. Like this is not going to be easy for you. Not to say that, not to deter you from doing the work or from whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, whatever it is that you're going through. But like, you're going to feel this way. Like these feelings are natural. They're going to come up. So don't, don't be harsh on yourself. Like be gentle with you. What's the advice for Aquarius? Like it, it may be very difficult for you to maintain a positive mentality or stay positive, it's very, it's going to be very easy for you to jump into this victim mentality. And maybe you are a victim, maybe you are, but that is not going to get you further. It's, it's to acknowledge your struggle and know that something is probably going to take a while. It's not going to be easy, but if you can find things to keep going for, if you can find motivation, find reasons to keep living, to keep going through it. So you get yourself out of this energy of hardship, struggle, feeling left out in the cold. This could be like economic loss, feeling uncomfortable, feeling sick. It's going to be hard if you can find something that can make it a little less hard for you, like a, a favorite show that you watch or, you know, a nice dessert, you know, something little each day that can make you, that can find, that can help you find a way to keep going. But it's going to be hard. What is the advice for Aquarius here? It's, it's going to be difficult to stay positive. And that's exactly why you should go harder on that, on your mental space. Page of Wands. What is this advice um, for Aquarius? There's something inventive, like a, if you can delve into creativity, like a project, lose yourself in something, explore new ideas, you know, take adventures, explore new avenues. Like, once again, find reasons to keep going. Not that you're suicidal, but, you know, when, when things get hard, it's really hard to feel, why should I, why should I keep going? You know, like, why? 
what's the point if I'm going through all this, all this pain, you know, there's no end to this. It just feels like it's going to be hard for now, but it's not going to be forever. Tell me more. What does Aquarius need to know next seven days? What else? Give me one more. What does Aquarius need to know next seven days? Seven of Swords. Um, you're going to get your results. Like whatever you're looking for out of a situation, Aquarius, you're going to get your results, but there may be a need for you to devise a plan. I'm getting, and this is, this is a deacon of your sign, the seven of swords. The seven of swords can be deception, stealing, you know, thievery, lying, cheating, all that. It could be all that stuff, but it can also be a contingency plan, um, devising a strategy. Okay. Finding a loophole, being a little bit devious, being a little bit creative and thinking outside of the box. It feels like this is what's needed right now at this point in time. Um, you're going to get out of this. If this is a sticky situation, you're going to get out. The Seven of Swords can be an escape. You're going to get out of a compromising, compromising situation or a sticky thing, whatever it is that you feel stuck in. You'll get out, but you need a plan. You need a plan and you need to stick to it. And I just saw a quote on Pinterest where it was like, follow your plan, not your mood. Okay? If you're feeling this way, it's, it's okay to acknowledge how you feel, but stick Create a plan and follow that. Don't follow how you feel. Follow your plan. Create a plan and stick to it and follow that. Okay? Give me one second. I'm going to write that down for your title. But you're going to get out. Whatever this is that you're stuck in, you're going to get out of it. Um, what does Aquarius need to be aware of in like seven days? I kind of want to know what this situation is, but I mean, this could be anything for you guys. This could be like a financial situation, you know, home, for some of you guys, this could be homelessness. Literally, this could be, um, sickness, ailment. Okay. This could just be feelings of, uh, loneliness, feeling left out in the cold, feeling like you don't have anybody. What does Aquarius need to be aware of? The Ace of Wands. Um, I want to say that you guys are going to get lucky. You guys are going to get lucky in some kind of field or some kind of idea. This is like sheer dumb luck. Like, I feel like you guys need a win. So the universe, God, or whatever is spinning the wheel for you. The wheel is turning in your favor. You find that you're actually very lucky in something. Everybody has their thing that they're just good at, like just naturally, like you just find success in. For some people, some people are good at making millions. Some people are just naturally good at dancing. They find luck in that. Some people find luck when they go to the casino and they, when they, you know, they, they strike out for the lottery. Some people are so lucky in relationships and so unlucky in other departments. I feel like you're finding your luck. You're finding what you're good at or something like that. What is this? Where, where in where or what department is Aquarius going to get lucky in? Four of Swords. Can you clarify this? Where is Aquarius going to get lucky here next seven days? Four of Swords, the Eight of Cups. I feel like it's when you give something a chance. I'm trying to see what this is, though. The Eight of Cups can be like walking away from something. So let me see what this is. You may find luck like when you give up. Like, like it's almost like manifestation. Like you say your goal and then you just let it go. Like you give up. You just stop fighting. Not that you give up on yourself or give up on anything, but it's like you give up trying to, it's kind of like um, when, you, when, you, when you're not looking for it, you get the answer. When you're not looking for it, you find it. So giving up, but not really giving up in a sense. Like when you walk away from something, when you give it some time, that's when you find some luck. Um, I also feel like you'll find luck wherever it is that you're slowly giving up in, where you're, 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 feel, you're giving up the fight. So if this is like an emotional battle, this is a financial battle, if this is a mental battle, a relationship battle, a home battle, okay, a health battle, like where you're giving up, there's some luck. Can you tell me more? What does Aquarius need to be aware of next seven days? Hi, uh, it's too many cards. Mm, I'll take it. High Priestess, Five of Cups, The Fool. What is this high priestess? What does Aquarius need to be aware of? This is high priestess. What does Aquarius need to be aware of next seven days? High priestess. 
I'm not going to take all these. They're giving me like 20 cards. High Priestess and the Tower. Um, I, I see this as you re recognizing something to be true about yourself. Um, some of you guys, I want to call you Pisces. You may be a cusper or have Pisces in your chart. I see you I see you discovering something new about yourself. This is like a groundbreaking discovery. Okay, this is like um, you having a eureka moment in your head. Okay, this is like a intuition, like an intuitive jolt. Some of you guys may realize like that you're actually attractive. I don't know. It feels like some of you guys, for some of you, I don't know if you're struggling with body dysmorphia, with image issues. Okay, what you see in the mirror is not what's actually a, not an accurate depiction or what, but it's like you're realizing something to be actually true about yourself, something that you never believed, something that you always doubted, something that you never took on as fact. It's like there's some groundbreaking discovery that kind of shakes everything up for you. What's the five of cups? It's like you're recognizing something about yourself, like, wow, I'm actually powerful or wow, I'm actually blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, you are. But I don't know, it may have taken you a while to get to that conclusion, whatever this is. What's the five of cups for what is Aquarius need to be aware of? There's five of cups. Page of swords. And what's the fool? The Aquarius needs to be aware of next seven days. The fool. The justice card. I, I feel like there's somebody that wants to speak to you, Aquarius. This could be a Libra or someone that could be in something legal. Like somebody wants to speak to you. So somebody may be reaching out to you. And I feel like there's a lot of nerves with something here. Like um, nervousness, anxiousness, anxiousness, anxiety. You and somebody are going to be great friends. If you're in limbo with somebody or if you're um, going through something, if you're going through something with another person, um, I don't know if there was like a third party involved or if there was, you know, if this, if this is something that got in the way of a friendship, if this is platonic, if you're going through a tower moment, like, um, you know, something major hit, there was a big loss, there was a big grievance, okay, there was a big change in your circumstance, a big revelation or whatever this is. You and somebody are going to get through this. You are going to come out the other end all right. This is the fool. The fool is good. The fool is positive. The fool is clumsy, but the fool is jovial. This is a big yes or a big positive energy from the universe. This is the this is a begin. This is like a new beginning. The, be the beginning of a new cycle, taking a new leap of faith, starting a new adventure. You're going to come out. You're going to come out the other side of something. Okay. This is not the end all be all. You and somebody are going to be friends again. You and someone are going to get along. You're going to get through this. If this is something hard that you're going through right now, or you're struggling, you're dealing with the loss, you have regret, you can only see the negative, not what's, not what's still there, not what's still positive, not what you still do have. You're going through something grieving. Even if, even if it's not like an actual death, if this is like just a major revelation that really shook you up, you're going to be okay and you're going to be better for it. You guys will be friends again. You will be on good terms again. It's just there's a need to have faith. The the um the fool says take a leap of faith and there, there's a need to trust that you're going to be okay. But I see that you will. This is your end result. This is your outcome. You'll be okay. It looks bad right now. What you're going through, you don't see how you're going to get out of it. You don't feel okay. You don't see how you're going to be okay. The odds are stacked against you. Things are not in your favor. But like I said, you're going to get some luck. Things are going to turn around. Things are going to be okay. It's just right now things are not. But that is okay as well. It's okay not to be okay. It is okay. one second um whatever this is talking about you're gonna come out the other end rejuvenated feeling like you have a new lease on life just remember the highest truth of all that this is your outcome the fool a new beginning rejuvenation reinvigoration happiness folly joy optimism 
you'll find your star, you'll find your faith again. You're just in a dark place right now. Okay, you literally represent the star. Aquarius, the tower is right before the star. This is the storm. This, the star is the calm after the storm. The star is healing. You'll find yourself again. You'll find your reason again. Have faith. Um, can I get a money message for Aquarius next seven days? Five of Wands. I don't know. Oddly enough, this Five of Wands is like conflict and strife, but I see you relaxing. Like, I see you calm. <laughs> what is this Five of Wands for Aquarius next seven days? Their money. Um, I see that you're going to be filling out applications or you're going to fill out an application for something. I don't know if you're applying for something. Some of you guys where you guys are in school, this is like you applying for a grant. This is Five of Wands for Aquarius. Um, I see you pacing yourself regarding your work and your ideas. Um, I see you making a lot of friends in the workplace. You uh, making good with your coworkers, okay? But I see this as you pacing yourself and your ideas. Five of Wands, Four of Swords. Um, you guys are going to be getting results, okay? Uh, you're gonna get. You're gonna be getting results regarding your money. Uh, I see a payout. You guys could be getting paid as well, but I feel like results results are coming. Let's clarify this Seven of Cups, and then let's clarify this Devil separately. You're gonna be feeling very creative. Like I feel like you're gonna have a lot of energy in your. Um, I forget what what chakra is like the sex one. I forget if it's the sacral or the solar plexus. I think it's the sacral. That I don't know. It's like orange. It's like in control of like sexuality, sex, creativity, all that. Um, you're going to be feeling very sexual. You're going to be feeling very horny. Um, you're going to be feeling uh, like creating. Okay, very much. <laughs> you're going to feel like you want to try something new. Okay, some of you guys could be feeling very sexual, very creative in the bedroom. Okay, very sexually attracted, very charged up. Um, and also uh, very creative. There's a lot of energy in your... Um, I'm getting like your sexual area. Some of you guys could have Scorpio in your chart because I'm getting like the genitalia. <laughs> okay. Um, there's a word I'm looking for with this devil card. What is it? It's like um, libido. Libido, yeah, libido, strong libido. You guys may want to try something new with sex. I want to say chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> okay, anyways, seven of cups. I'm like, listen, the reading on my channel, that's that's like the, um when you first come to my channel, I literally have a sex reading up. Y'all know who I am, okay? <laughs> Get some whipped cream in there. <laughs> Okay, oh, you're feeling charged up. Try something new. Go get them handcuffs, darling, okay? Go get them. Go get them whips. <laughs> oh, okay, what's the Seven of Cups for Aquarius and their money next seven days? Um, Seven of Cups, the Seven of Wands. This is you having faith in yourself and never giving up on your ideas. Okay, Um, there's like a need to like, have persistence, stand your ground, don't give up, keep on going with the fight. The fool, again, faith. Uh, there's a need to have discipline for you next seven days. What's the seven of cups for Aquarius and their money next seven days? Seven of cups, Aquarius and their money. Seven of cups, the six of cups. You know, I'm getting a similar energy that I got to Capricorn, and we do have Capricorn on the board. It seems like you guys are in a daze regarding your money, like your financial ideas. Like you're, It feels like you're a little bit stuck in a rut. It feels like you're in limbo. Like this feels like this week you're kind of in limbo, Aquarius, like with, you know, in more ways than one. But like, you know, it's in different levels. It's in different extremities. So like in your love life or in your emotional life, you know, your, your physical life, um, you may be in limbo at a very high level, at a very extreme level. But like in your money, you're in limbo, but it's like you still have some mobility. You still feel like you can move around a little bit. It's just that you do feel the stuck energy. Like you feel like there's something that won't let up, but like it's not as extreme as the limbo that you're feeling. So it's like you're at different levels with the same energy in your life. Um, I see you 
feeling a little bit stuck in a rut, having so many ideas, maybe spoiled for choice, in a daze, not really knowing what to do. What is the advice for Aquarius here? I want to say the advice is to stay private with your goals. What is the advice for Aquarius here? Next seven days. There. Six, five, seven cups. This limbo, this undecided energy. What's the advice in their money here? Ace of Pentacles. Put your money where your mouth is, okay? Uh, start start applying physical energy towards whatever it is that you're saying you want you want to do, you want to accomplish. Make a choice, make a decision. What's the advice for Aquarius? And I want to say remain private with your ideas and your goals to get yourself out of that stuck energy. Remain private. And I feel like there's some energy, like you're you're gonna you're gonna become privy to something to something interesting, like some information that's previously, you know, not previously that was previously unknown to you. Okay, you're gonna become aware of like certain things. But like um Trust your intuition and, and go within. Can I get an oracle card for Aquarius? We have openness. I'm going to pull another, but we have openness. Um, can I get another Aquari uh, another oracle card for Aquarius next seven days? Some of you guys are going to open up a business. We have security. This feels like it's making sure that you're safe, uh, making sure that your home is safe, making sure that you're protected. And we have abundance on the back of the deck. Um. Some of you guys could be getting some new home security or having safes or something like that. I feel like there's there's like a sense of like seriousness with this security card. Like there's seriousness in your security. Like you're, you're serious about something. You're not joking around. Okay, openness. When you receive this card, be open to receiving signs. Be still, do nothing yet. Intuition. Uh, breathe, relax completely and thoroughly. Incubate your dreams for the future. If you are trying to make a decision, take the time to watch for signs and listen to the whisper of the universe, the whispers of the universe. Watch your dreams for messages regarding the situation. Become the sacred watcher. Observe at life as it unfolds. I think I was getting spectators, like all that judging, watching. Um, become the sacred watcher. Observe life as it unfolds rather than becoming engaged, engaged in it. Be open to what the universe has in store for you. Be receptive to messages from your soul. This card can also be the bringer of sacred wonders into your life. Miracles can show up in ways that you didn't expect. I feel like miracles can show up for you in terms of your security, like in terms of your safety, your safety net, your social circle, your home, your foundation. I'm getting a root chakra energy. Um, with this, with this, with your spread, I'm getting strong uh, high priestess, high priestess energy. We didn't, I don't think we had that card come out, but her presence is here as in to trust your intuition and sit back. The high priestess and the moon sit back and wait for signs, wait for more guidance. Okay. Wait for the intuitive hits. Did we, I feel like we got the high priestess. I don't think I pulled it out though. Yeah. Oh, we do have it. Okay. Okay. I feel her strong right now. Um, but yeah, the high priestess says, be still relax, you know, wait for more information to come towards you. This is not the time to, you know, make sudden moves it's just the time to wait for more information and guidance trust your intuition and trust the signs that you're seeing observe as opposed to engage and do sit back security um you are safe and protected no matter what is occurring in your life you are in safe hands those in the realm of spirit are watching over you you can relax and let go once you've taken measures to protect yourself and those you love such as making sure everyone has their seatbelt on in the car making sure your insurance is paid on time or replacing the filter on your heating unit, then let go. If you have been hypervigilant lately, take a break, relax, know that all is well. You can turn it all over to the creator. Okay. You're safe Aquarius, but I, I do see you doing some root work. Um, this is as simple as like making sure that you got food in your fridge to eat. Okay. If you, if you got a meal prep, meal, meal prep, meal plan to make sure that mentally you're an air sign. So you guys could be prone to, well, we could be prone to, um, I'm not an Aquarius, but I'm an air sign. We could be prone to anxiety, worry, fear. Just take the necessary steps, plan ahead to make sure that you feel secure. Okay. So that tomorrow you don't have to worry about where food is going to come from. Buy some extra food today, make another sandwich for yourself tomorrow. Bam, you have food for tomorrow. You feel a little bit safer now because your stomach is going to be nourished. You're going to feel provided for and cared for. You're going to have food to eat. Okay. Um, simple stuff as like 
paying off a bill early so that you don't have to worry about how I'm going to pay it off if something else comes up where you have to put that money towards that. You know, contingency plans. I think I said that. Create a plan and stick to it. And if you have the money or the opportunity to do something early, then do it so that you can rest easy. But do what, do your part and let spirit do theirs, okay? But that's what I got for you, Aquarius, okay? That has been your reading. Um, it's a beautiful reading, even though there's a lot. Um, you will be okay. This reading mostly says, I feel like I want to cry for you. My eyes are watering. Um, this reading says, most of all, to have faith, okay? Have faith, please. You're in limbo right now, but you're not going to be stuck forever. You're going to be okay, okay? Um, sorry this this is a um that's what i got for you guys um sorry these readings make me so emotional that's what i got for you guys um i'll see you in your next reading bye guys